Hello guys, I am P -P -P Pyrocynical. I know just from that first sentence alone, a lot of people are going to be pretty mad. Because why would Joseph get low subscribe YouTuber to host podcasts? Well, and these voted, voted as well, shall I just say. Well, let's just say he has his reasons. And he's not right here now, so he can't give them to you. Instead, you have me to deal with for the next half an hour or so. But don't worry, I won't make this as long and excruciating as possible. So welcome everybody to the Night Flyer Podcast layout. I just read exactly what was on the fucking sheet. Sorry. Welcome to the Night Flyer Podcast episode 6 featuring Papa Pyrocynical. I'm going to lose my voice a few times during this because I've never done this before. This whole podcast scenario. Definitely not with another guy and kissed him on stream. On podcast. Anyway. If you do like the podcast and children screaming outside, hit, make sure to hit that like button and never leave this channel. Okay? Thank you. So, as per normal, we have the news. We have the channel, which is obviously not mine. Mine's too perfect to be on a puny podcast like this. And then, the questions. So, let's just get straight into the news. And this first one that he wrote down for me to talk, uh, to talk about is J.K. Rowling reveals this podcast was gay all along. Yes, guys, because I am here, Papa Pyrocynical, this podcast is now officially gay. Alright, it is pretty homosexual, if I say so myself. But there is nothing wrong with that, don't get me wrong. It's just homosexual. And we're going to probably be appealing more to the male audience. You know, just because I need to stop before this podcast runs itself into the ground. So, J.K. Rowling on Twitter said Dumbledore had an sex... Or, well, first off, she said Dumbledore was gay. Then said he had an intense sexual relationship with another character from the Harry Potter uh, series. And... Let's just say this is her trying to grasp at every fucking straw she has left for relevancy after she called a certain YouTuber <coughs> PewDiePie uh, a Nazi. And you don't just go doing that, do you now? But anyway, that is what's up with J.K. Rowling. Uh, my own opinions is I hope that she just sticks to making uh, beasts and where to find them or whatever it's called. And I'm sure to give it a try, but, you know, if she keeps up like this, I, I might just have to... um. I might have to call her something. A word that I always use in my channel that I forget right now what it is. No, I'm not playing with my USB stick. Shut up. Anyway. Next news. And no, there will not be a meme break within the middle of all this. We gotta get through this as fast as possible. Anyway. The next thing I'd love to talk about is Apex Legends releasing a battle pass. Now, for a start, I love how they actually titled it Season 1. Because the predecessor to that was pretty much Season 0. There was no Battle Pass. And then you had Fortnite that didn't know how to count. And they just labelled it Season 2. Because why not? But anyway. As far as I'm aware. And the details I've got here. He says he's not really enjoying the Battle Pass as much as he'd love to. He just says that he wished there was more boosts to levelling up and so on and so forth. When actually doing it. And maybe add like a challenge thing. Where you do challenges per week. Or maybe he's just too used to Fortnite the pleb. But other than that, it's nice that he actually bought it for EA, seeing as if they have FIFA and FIFA coins. Will they please stop outside? Like, I don't know if anybody hears this, but I hate children. I really hate and despise children. That's why my army is made of seven-year-old slaves, not actual people. Anyway, we'll move on from that, because I don't really have much to add myself. And this next topic shouldn't even be discussed about PewDiePie versus T-Series. It should really be Pyrocynical versus PewDiePie. Now, don't worry bros, eventually we will overtake PewDiePie. We are only 87 million away from beating him. So I believe in us bros, let's do this. Now, the next topic we have here is the Fortnite experience. Now, Joe, as far as I'm aware, or Dark, should I say, has been having slight issues with, um, with pretty much just playing Fortnite for fun. 
Because, see, he wants to get the battle pass done for challenges, but he comes across a lot of sweaty people that just will kill him in no matter what game mode he's in. He was saying to me how he was in a 20v20, and they were sweating on him as if their life depended on it, and so on and so forth. I think Joseph is just such a fucking noob. He needs to get better at Fortnite and post more Fortnite content so that I can make videos on him and ridicule him. Because he's not a child. He is 18 plus. So I can have yeah, I can have the liberty of doing so. Anyway, that is the Fortnite experience. He also wrote down here Destiny 2 is really so, uh, so fun for him. Well, I don't know his actual thoughts, but for what he wrote down here is that... He's enjoying the latest expansion, but mainly the lore of it. That's all he really wanted to add, and the game mode's kind of fun. It's just a reiteration of what they already have. I'm very sorry if you can hear a tin whistle in the back. The kids next door won't stop blowing into it because they don't know how to play tin whistle. Anyway, a uh, serious topic we're going to talk about real quick is the New, Zeal New Zealand shooting. And let's just say the main thing that caught our attention on this was that pretty much he said subscribe to PewDiePie before he um, did what he did. Thank God though the guy's uh, face hasn't been revealed and pretty much weapons have been like a lot of weapons have been fucking banned from New Zealand which is a good sign to know that they'll actually fucking do it unlike another place which I won't go into but the guy's fucking sick as far I, I also heard somewhere else um how he literally went back in and shot everybody just to make sure they were dead. Even though they're already fucking dead, the psycho. Sick fucking... Nah, he's not really a true... I don't know. I, I'm gonna just move on before it gets too far. <clears throat> Moving on from that, we will now talk about news... <laughs> Moving on, we will talk about Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer. Now, if you don't know on YouTube, you get recommended random stuff. And Joseph found this, and he's like, this is kind of interesting. Because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kind of say friggin'. And, like, I don't know about you, but it's very tight nowadays of what counts as a kid's show and what doesn't. Especially if they say, fr like, friggin' as a word. But, Joseph thinks it's interesting to see the turtles mixed with Batman. Just to see how it goes. It's probably already been done before, but because Joseph is like eight, he's never seen it before. Anyway, the next news we'll talk about right here is the Master Chief Collection coming to Steam. Now, I personally, because I am a PC Master Race God person that you should never mess with. Let's just say I love this. I used to play Dota all the time when I was 12. And now, I get to play it again, remastered with Halo Reach. But in general, this is a really good move on Microsoft's part, and maybe even Steam's part, to ep like combat Epic Store. Because the Epic Store have been doing shady shit lately, and Steam are just like, eh, we'll just, we'll just ask for the Master Chief Collection, and then, you know, we'll do it. As of now as well, they've also said that there's no confirmed date of when they're finished any of this, or when the Master Chief Collection will have Halo Reach Remastered, but they have announced it at least, and just said, Okay lads, we've announced it, just want to let you know, okay, now just wait, okay? Anyway, the next news we shall move on to today is Disney's acquisition of the 21st Century Fox is complete. And in brackets he has, Disney is now worth 71 million. It's probably meant to be billion. But we'll ignore that and talk about how awesome it is. Disney get to, like, now own Fox. So now I can see Deadpool within... Uh, I don't know, just anywhere. You know, it'd be cool just to see, like, Deadpool interact with, like, Frozen's uh, Elsa. You know, J just have a bit of banter between the two. But other than that, it is really, really weird. Not really weird, but like just really, really interesting to see what they'll do with the Fantastic Four, as far as I'm aware, as a part of that. And then Deadpool and the X-Men. It'd be really, really epic if Thanos could click and have them disappear and they could hop universes together. But we'll have to see when Endgame comes out next month. Anyway, 
Next, we will talk about a fast food ch healthy chain called Leon is opening up soon within Temple Bar, Dublin, Ireland. And now, I just thought I'd bring this up. I don't really have much to say about it, but it's kind of cool that a, he eh, a healthy fast food chain is opening up rather than just a fast food, you know? It's good to see that there's a bit of balance out there between your McDonald's and your Burger Kings. <laughs> I meant to say McDonald's and your fast foods, you know? Of course, they're not going to open up everywhere in Ireland simultaneously at the same time as the Temple Bar opening, but Temple Bar is the melting pot, apparently, in Ireland for different cultures to mix in and merge. Just like probably New York has a different variation of that too, is also a melting pot as well, should I say. Anyway. Next news we'll talk about is COD Mobile is launching free soon on, well, you guessed it, mobile devices. Now, if you ask me personally, sure, they might have been working on this for a while, but they probably saw the downfall of Black Ops 4 and were like, fuck, we need to make more. So they made, or are making, this game for mobile so that they can squeeze every little bit of money out of you as much as possible. Anyway... The next topic we will talk about here, um, I need to skip one because I'm not confident talking about this topic, but the next one we're going to talk about is Cydia. Now, if you don't know Cydia, this is Google's new gaming stream cloud-based service thingy-mabob, as it's written down here, it's kind of, I kind of added a few bits of my own, just there, but pretty much Cydia looks like it's going to be really powerful for now. Now, I heard a lot of arguments against it as well, and I'm open to hearing arguments out to the end. And I kind of have to agree with the opposite side as well as my own side. My own side is, oh cool, this is Zidia. This is going to be really, really epic for us epic gamers out there. But in general, like, the PlayStation 5 is coming out at the end of this year or sometime next year. So how is Zidia going to perform against it then? And, like, you really need a high-speed internet for this to work. Now, as for me, Papa Pyrocynical, I live within the best mansion in Ireland. You cannot even look it up. It is that good that it doesn't want any peasant eyes to have their, like, reticles just completely burnt out by how good my mansion looks. How fire it is right now. So, I'll be alright trying to use this service, and I'll probably do a review or something like that afterwards about Stidia. Stidia. Stidia? Stidia, yes. Anyway, that is the end of the new segment for this podcast. I am not done yet and I want to pull the trigger as hard as I possibly can. But anyway, let's move on to the channel. Guy Likes You pretty much provided like almost everything for here. And there was a bit, of, a few bits from last week also included, apparently, just in the editor notes here. So, let's just uh, read them out. So, Gary Likes You says, A product review could be an interesting idea. Now, as for me, Papa Pyrocynical, I've already sold out with Lords Mobile. And hashtag non-spawn in this podcast, but they sponsored one of my videos. I did it, and then I got a lot of money for it. Now, to be fair, though, I make the highest quality content and I need that money to continue the, like, sanity train that's required to make Petscop 2 a thing. But other than that, I will take you up on that. But you're probably talking about uh, Dark, so I'll pass it over to him, alright, Gary Likes You? Next video is Ideas for an Easter Video. Personally, myself, I don't have an idea for an Easter video. I'll probably just be petting Blue all day, or... Yeah, blue all day, because he is my child. He is everything I embody. He does not like demonetization, so I'll probably not even upload a video that day, because it's the day celebrating him, because it's Easter. And now, weirdly enough, Derek was meant to be here to say this, but I'm going to have to say it to you. Thank you for 10 subscribers on this podcast. Now, I don't really mean it, because I'm Papa Pyrocynical and I have 3 million subscribers, but surely, if Dark was here, he would have a way better reaction than me. But he probably is truly ecstatic that you have gotten this channel to send subscribers, even though it's probably going to end in the next few weeks. But he will thank you anyway in the future, maybe even in the next episode. 
Now, these are little extra channel bits that were included by Unknown. But anyway, uh, subscriber count going up for Joe Knight Flyer. Now, I'm not meant to give my own personal opinion because this is Dark Knight Flyer's podcast. But I think this is really cool how Joseph Nightflyer is still getting more subs even though he's been inactive for pretty much a year and three months. And Dark has been really active since like even 2017, probably September time. And if anything, if he was here right now, I wish I could laugh in his face. I would definitely not cower into the corner and say please do not beat me up and hide me forever from the channel. Or channels. But yes, I think it's good that Joe Snyder Flyer has 50 subscribers. And you should probably have. Anyway, next topic we'll talk about today is uh, what happened between Joe and Dark. Now, I have no personal recollection of what actually happened between Joseph Nightflyer and Dark Nightflyer. But what I will say is, it is pretty shady. And you might need to be careful when you're researching yourself into this. And even for me, as the public spo spokesperson currently, I also need to be careful. But anyway, that is the channel stuff done. Now, let us move on to the questions, again submitted by Gary Likes You. He asks, well, first I'm going to get the short question out of the way. Are the donut videos private? Yes, they are currently private unfortunately, as I've seen from his channel layout. But don't worry, eventually, in the future, he'll probably re-release them. Um, for whatever reason, he has them privated is beyond me. But I heard there's this contract that him and Dark have that has the ability to keep all these, like, pretty much just privated. Another question he asked was, How do I feel about Toy Story 4 Aladdin? The Lion King, Dumbo, and the Avengers Endgame taking over this summer. Well, let me tell you, Toy Story 4 looks like it could be really, really good. Aladdin looks like it can spawn a lot of good memes. The Lion King could be a good one to go with. Dumbo, I'm not too sure, but Avengers Endgame, I can't wait for more Thanos memes, so I can finally host another meme break. You know, in the middle of my eight song. Anyway, that is everything for this podcast. Thank you all for listening. I was your host, Piracy. And now, please, get me the fuck out of here. He has kept me hostage.